The origin of noodles dates back over 4,000 years to China, and now they are enjoyed all over the world. Including in my dorm room, I had the hot pot. <laughs> and the, anyway, uh, over the generations, the concept of noodles has changed dramatically. That's right, and we are enlisting the help of Chef Devante Burnley of The Exchange to explore all the possibilities. Oh, but we're I clever here <laughs> with different kinds of noodles. Chef, before we get to this amazing spread and start assembling, tell us about The Exchange. So The Exchange is a uh, pop-up. It's a dinner series um, with myself and my partner, uh, bartender Justin Sakuzu, where we pair craft cocktails and uh, core style dinners. What do you think, Jason? I think I'm all in. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> regarding the history of noodles, I didn't realize it went back 4,000 years. And in my mind, as I was coming up, noodles were like in, you know, chicken chow mein or whatever, or then Prince Spaghetti Night, mm -hmm. or ramen when I was in college. And that was pretty much it, or chicken noodle soup. This explosion in noodle bowls and across cultures and different, uh, the, where did this all come from? So just, uh, more recently, a lot of the health reasons for uh, noodle dishes, uh, people are, can't have gluten, people can't have wheat, these things like that. So that's where you get certain things like the zucchini, um, the vegetable-based uh, noodles, and then just like you, like you said, from the Asian origin all the way to the Italian origin, the different styles of uh, creating noodles and pasta. That's right. And speaking of, we have some examples here. Those are zucchini noodles? Tell yes. us about those. So um, this one here is our vegetarian, vegan-friendly. Um, it's kale, mushrooms, tossed with truffle oil, garlic, um, zucchini noodles, and butternut squash noodles, great for the fall. Awesome. The one next to that has an egg on top? Yeah, so that's our Asian-inspired noodle dish. Um, it's an uh, Asian noodle soup bowl. Um, so we use some uh, rice noodles, um, some fresh chicken broth, mushrooms, carrots, fried egg, and some green onions. Okay. okay, and it looks mm -hmm. like uh, some macaroni and cheese. Yes, yeah, so this is our more classic American style mac and cheese, white cheddar mac and cheese. And then finally um, with right bacon here. Bacon breadcrumbs. And then this one here is a combination of a wheat pasta along with the zucchini and the butternut squash, red sauce, spinach, and mushrooms. All well, right, what so can Tati, what can, can you make to Tati today? So yeah. today we're going to be working on what we call the Rasta pasta. Um, it's going to be basically a Caribbean jerk style Alfredo. All right, um, let's so do it. we're going to start by adding some olive oil to the pan. I'll make sure the pan's very hot. And we want to get the, I'm already obsessed with this Alfredo sauce, so, I'm sorry. So we're going to start with peppers and onions. Get those going. Any kind of particular peppers and onions? Um, we like to do just a tri-color bell peppers, uh, red onions. Uh, adds a lot of good flavor there. Alrighty. We're going to get those going. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add the pasta. Now, that. why that particular noodle and not spaghetti or? Um, so this one, it's a play on like the classic chicken Alfredo. Okay. So we're gonna use the um, fettuccine noodles for that. And then we're gonna add it. So our Alfredo sauce yes. here is actually a blackened Alfredo. So it's Alfredo sauce, like classically made Italian Alfredo, but we add some jerk spice to it um, to just give it a little extra added kick. Nice, take it up a notch. So we're gonna go ahead and add that jerk spice to that now. And you mix that up, it smells yes, amazing. We so we're gonna mix that up, get the sauce evenly coating on the pasta. And then we're gonna finish it here with some fresh squeezed lime Ooh. to add some extra added flavor. And then some queso fresco. Very nice. So once you get that all tossed up and nice and evenly coated, there you go. I'm gonna go right into the bowl here. So do you do a lot of like fusion? things like this, like this kind of dish, Caribbean and Italian. Yes, yes. so this dish here, um, I've had the pleasure to work with some great chefs, uh, Max L. Hardy. Um, so this one is very inspired by his restaurant, River Bistro, mm -hmm. um, where we have had the pleasure to actually do some pop-ups and work with him. And then we're gonna top that with just some marinated jerk chicken tenderloins. Perfect, now where can people learn more about The Exchange? So The Exchange will actually be popping up at uh, Queens Bar on the 13th, uh, nice. uh, Saturday the 13th. And uh, this dish here you'll be able to get at River Bistro um, at 18456 Grand River, right. um, which is uh, Caribbean soul food inspired food. Sounds good to me, Chef, thank you so much. Absolutely, Ple The possibilities. Pleasure. What do you think, Jason? <laughs> I think that we should have chefs stop by about once a week and we can yeah, just know, hang right? out and be like a, a cooking school with him.